testing. Hi. Hi, so I'm uh, Michael Todd. I'm uh, making the game Electronic Super Joy 2. And uh, many of you watching this have been supporting me, um, pledging money to my Patreon, but also just being there on the Discord and being happy and uh, creating spreadsheets and creating fan-made level editors and creating videos and creating um, all of the stuff. You guys are lovely and awesome. All of the fan art and the fan music and the help and the the, the bot and everything else that the fan community has made uh, absolutely gives me motivation to make this game. So um, this is an update video. It's not an update video for any particular build. It's just there's a, there's a shift that's going to happen with the development of ESJ2. And so what it is, is for the past, um, well, 32, 33 weeks, which is, you know, roughly six, six months, um, I've been making ESJ2 on the Patreon. And the first goal on the Patreon is $1,000 a month, Michael doesn't have to live on hope and ramen noodles. And unfortunately, uh, and, and um, you know, this is just how it goes, um, we've been making under that. So we've consistently made about 500, 600, you know, we're in the 500s every month, which is very helpful and helped my savings last a lot longer than they otherwise would have. Um, however, we haven't reached a high enough Patreon goal yet. Um, and so I'm going to shift how I do development. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go do contract work, boring contract work, PHP server stuff, data visualization, this sort of thing, uh, which I happen to also have a skill for. Um, the, the thing is, is I actually make indie games and ESJ too. Uh, like I want to make more ESJ and it's a labor of love because I actually get paid like $50 an hour doing my other work. And I get paid like illegally low amounts doing indie games. But I like making indie games, and I want to make ESJ2 like you would not believe. Um, and I want it to be an awesome game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go do contract work for a couple of months, and I'm going to still be active in Discord, and I'm still going to oversee everything. Um, however, I'm going to bring in uh, some other people. Uh, these are people who worked on ESJ1 with me, and they, they weren't free, but they're free now to do some work with me. Um, Tim. Uh, who you might know as Black Magic from the Steam forums. Uh, he was lead programmer on ESJ1 uh, for the second half of development. So you've definitely, if you were active on the Steam forums at the time, you've you know you've had a bug fixed by him kind of thing. Um, he's a great guy and he's a good programmer, and I'm going to bring him in specifically to work on the level editor. So what he's going to do is he's going to throw hours of work at the level editor and he's going to add new features. Um, and. I'm bringing in Ori Falconer. Now, Ori, I, I say his last name, Tim, Tim is, you know, Tim, but Ori has the coolest last name, which is Falconer. I mean, how badass is that as a, as a last name, right? Um, so he's worked on ESJ1 as well. He made the level called uh, Emotional Mess in the Green World at the end of ESJ1. Um, but he's also more recently work, come off of working on Way of the Passive Fist, and he's worked on a bunch of other games, and he's a local Toronto level designer who I, who I know, who I, I'm uh, friends with, who I uh, have experience in his long uh, years of development, and he knows Unity, and he knows all the things he needs to do to make some awesome ESJ levels. And so he's going to make some ESJ levels. I've specifically asked him to uh, make some, uh, you know, run and scrolling, don't touch anything, it's all bad, many tiny monsters killing you with music in the background levels, which I've been, I haven't been making enough of. Um, I've been making a lot more like rooms and you have to get the key in the door and the, the thing opens and use the ability in the interesting way. And I, I think ESJ needs more of, of that kind of like, oh God, everything's on fire, don't touch anything, run faster kind of level. So, um, but Ori's good at that kind of level. So I'm bringing him in, he's gonna make a couple of levels. We'll see, we'll see how this rolls basically. Um, I'm going to use my contract work to support me and to, to pay Tim and to, to pay Ori and uh, all together we're going we're gonna to keep working on ESJ. Um, if the Patreon gets up up there later, if my contract work pays enough um, or just in between contract work I'll have chunks of spare time, I'm definitely still working on ESJ too. Um, Ori, all of Ori's levels will have to be 100% vetted by me um, in that mine is the the... The final word. Hi, dog. Hi. How's it going? I'm making a video. Anyway, um, I'll still be active on the Discord. I'm not going to vanish, but I need to go make money in order to continue the development. So that's going to happen. Uh, this is just an update video. There's no, there's no build down below. This is just a uh, 
Oh, I guess it. I guess it's Friday. So there will be a build down below. However, there isn't. I guess I'll put them up at the same time. All right, there'll be a build down below. Click on the links to check out the latest version. I've added some stuff for the level designer, for the level editor. Um, yeah, that, that's all I want to say. I just wanted to say uh, ESJ2 is still going well. I'm still very happy with it, but I've blown through most of my savings and I have to go make some more money. So we're going to be actually probably getting, I mean, we're definitely going to be getting weekly updates still because between Ori and Tim, they're going to be able to make uh, an update for the level editor or an update for uh, a new level uh, once a week. And, um, and I think that's it for now. Um, generally speaking, the team probably isn't going to get that much bigger than this because um, it, it doesn't need to uh, with Envy and the, the two or three other musicians I'm using and uh, everybody this is probably a big enough team as it is um, yeah no it's gonna be good it's gonna be really good I'm really looking forward to playing the levels uh, Ori makes and I'm really looking forward to signing on and noticing that um, you know Tim's added 8 million features to the level editor yes Max I know you want attention you want love All right, well, check out the new version. Uh, this week I added a bunch of stuff to the level editor, uh, just basically more items and so on. Um, it's all cool. Max is getting in my way. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Ah!